Hello artists, today we're going to make our ojalata actually look like ojalata. It will be shiny and wonderful. You'll have a messy mat and your project. And a bowl of very liquidy glue. It is not milk, it's just glue and water. We're going to take the glue and water mixture and brush it onto your project, making sure you get everything on the top side gluey. And I will have very specific instructions as to where these brushes go. Next, you'll have aluminum foil. You're going to be very careful with the foil and lay it over your project, kind of center it. And then we will gently rub, starting in the middle. Yes, there will be some little imperfections. That is okay. I'm rubbing and I'm kind of trying to trace where I know the cardboard lines are. If you push too hard, it is possible to get little tears, especially places like this beside your raised up cardboard. Okay, I rubbed it. You can kind of see where it is. I'm going to very carefully pick this up and flip it over and fold the foil back, but so make sure your name is still showing. So if your foil goes too far, give it a little extra fold. Bend it backwards or forwards, doesn't matter. My name can still be seen. And if you need to, you can always go back and do a little more rubbing. And don't worry about little wrinkles and things. That just makes it look old. That's our story and we are sticking to it. Next task is to make it look like ojalata. So normally ojalata had plain like black and silver on the corners. So that's what I'm going to stick with. I'm just going to go in and trace the shapes that I had on the corners and outline my little flowers with a sharpie. Every table will have a couple of bags of sharpies. If you're lucky, you won't have to share. Brands and colors may vary. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit. Okay, now that I'm done tracing my corners, it's time to add decorations. So you want to try to rub and find where those little glue lines were that you made so it looks like tiles. And the thing to remember about Sharpie, Sharpie erases Sharpie, which can be kind of handy, like in our situation. So if I want a little tile right here that's blue, I will color the entire little tile blue. And then I can put another color on top of it. Now, Ojalata had symmetry. If we look at this mirror, whatever's on the left is also on the right. It goes straight across. Or if we look at the top, same thing when we go straight down. So I have to hop over here and make this one look like the one I just made. So if I had one over here that was green, I'm going to be really careful beside that ridge so I don't poke a hole in it. If I go straight up, this one would also have to be green. And continue until your little tiles are finished. And once you have all your tiles decorated all the way around, you can also take the Sharpie and add a little extra decoration to your border. It still has to follow the rules of symmetry. So whatever's over here also has to be over here. 